my crew be tripping. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I do not have a crew. Hey you guys, and welcome back to my channel if you've been here before, and welcome for the first time if you've never been here. My name is Jordan, and this is my channel, It's Just Jordan. Today, I will be doing kind of, it's a winter haul, but I really just have a ton of coats to show you guys, and I have some really good coats, so I think this should be good. But, first, I'm not even wasting time today, y'all. I usually waste so much time. But we're getting right into it today. All right, so first I'm gonna be showing you, it's not my coats, but it's just a couple of things I've gotten in December because I just think they're just essential pieces to a wardrobe. Well, they have been in my wardrobe because I've been wearing them like crazy. But I think it's relevant because as I try the coats on and I'm in the mirror working it, I'm probably gonna put this stuff on. So I'm gonna explain it to y'all since I just got it. So, first I'm going to start off with, I guess I'll start off with this since we're looking at it. Alright, so, my lovely mother bought me this as part of my graduation gift. So, this is a Longchamp tote. Um, let me see if I can show you the, so it says it right here. So, it says Longchamp, it's kind of stamped. It's got the little, this is a little polo horse. Yeah, little polo man riding on a little horse right here. And then it kind of has that same little emblem on the front. So yeah, it's like just your basic black tote, but like an elevated version. Like if you don't want to look crappy today, but you kind of want to be lazy but cute, this will be something good. So it's like an elevated tote. It's kind of like a low-end luxury um, type of bag because it's not super expensive, but they're not cheap. I think they can be about like $200. Yeah, I'm just showing this because I have been carrying this like crazy. I feel like it's been very useful to me. There's not much going on, on the inside. It's a lot of space. I really like it for when I'm vlogging like out in public and I wanna put my cam, I mean not my camcorder. What is it, 2012? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, if I wanna put like my little camera, tripod, Lord, tripod. If I wanna put my tripod inside my bag and my camera when I'm not using it, and it just comes with this one little pocket. That's really the only compartment it has to hold. So, I mean, if you like dividers and stuff, this may not be the best, but if you like to just throw your crap in a bag, the Longchamp tote is for you. Next, I have a pair of Nikes that I have been wanting for quite a while now. Like, I kind of like gave up on the fact of wanting them. It's not like they're super expensive, but like I'm a new college grad, so. I don't be out here buying things like that. So I just kind of forgot about them. They were off my radar or whatever. I'm so glad I have them, y'all. So I have these Nike Cortez. These are super old school shoe. They're super classic. I'm just gonna give you a closer look of them right here. So they kind of got like a little bit of the platform at the bottom. I mean, it's not super thick. They're just plain basic black and white. And they kind of have like, I kinda, it's kind of like the shellish toe of like the Adidas, but Nike's version of it. So yeah, they're super basic shoe. We're just going to toss that right there. And there's just so much you can do with like Nike Cortez. Like I found that I can wear them with dresses and with skirts as well as jeans and like dress pants and stuff. If you're looking for like a basic shoe that you can like wear with a lot of things a lot of different ways and you don't want to spend a lot of money i think these are like 70 dollars maybe um i wear seven and a half and they're true to size for me i like to wear them with like little crew socks but yeah i can do so much with these shoes i adore them so an essential there is one thing i wanted to show y'all before i continue because i'm gonna wear these as well when i try on my jackets to spice things up a little bit um, I am wearing the JSGMY brand watch bands and they're a professional brand that like comes up with these little um, like high quality bands that go on your tech wear, like your watch tech wear. While we're at it, I should mention JSGMY is sponsoring this video, so yay! <laughs> I have on this little tan one right now. It's got like the little charcoal surrounding area and then I love how simple like the tan band is, but because like the rest of the watch is so simple, they give you like these little four little kind of diamond looking things. So I like that. It makes it a little girly even though it's really low key. It was just something super useful for me because I find that I don't wear my Apple Watch a lot because probably of the band. I just have the regular silicone band on my watch normally 
and it makes me not want to wear it because it clashes with my outfits so that is why I like the JSGMY watch bands because they give you different bands that you can try um, different ones that match with your style because they want it basically personalized to you in addition the watch strap is really good quality the metal on it is not made out of nickel so it is allergy free it's high quality like solid metal i love how they make the strap so cute but yet it's still super comfortable and lightweight so if you are looking to get this for yourself then i do have the links below if you want to go check that out yeah, I'm probably going to switch out uh, the watches a little bit maybe as I put the jackets on so you can see how they look with them. But yeah, I like mine. It's going to make me wear my Apple Watch more. So let's go ahead and get into my coat. Alright, so we're going to start on... Oh. Alright, we're going to move this one right here to the bike. And I'm going to explain to you why later let's start with this one so right here i got this cropped bubble coat and i've really been wanting a bubble coat and a cropped one at that because where i live ain't no point of having the winter you need because it's hot outside so i haven't even got to wear this yet but if you live somewhere cold this is great for you just not for me i got it from boohoo but the tag weirdly says brave soul that's something I don't see a lot with Boohoo, like different tags on their clothes besides Boohoo, but whatever, I don't care, I like it and it's cute. It's super warm, I'm kind of hot right now, which I mean, it's doing its job. I feel like the Michelin Man. I didn't expect it to be this thick, but it's really thick. Are those pockets? I know you lying. Yo, we got pockets right here. Alright, so they placed some pockets on the inside right here, so that's pretty cool. But they just have, it's not even a silver zipper. It's like a pewter kind of zipper that they have right here. Which I like because I feel like I could still wear my gold jewelry with it and it won't look crazy. But um, let me zip it up for y'all. Let's see what it looks like. This looks. Is that cute? I can just wear this with like some leggings. Probably workout leggings even if I don't go to the gym. And I just think that would be really cute. So this is kind of like my sporty coat for the winter very nice I highly recommend if I can find the link I will put it I like this jacket a lot it surprised me I didn't expect to like it that much but yeah um and I got a size I got a size small in this one next up I have a hoodie I mean it's not a jacket jacket but it's kind of like a form of a jacket and I think it's super cool um this is a, another boohoo one if you can see the lint on it I'm sorry I wore it already twice so, but I kept the tag on it, y'all. I was walking around with the tag so I could show y'all. About the size, what size is this? I think it was a medium. I'm quite sure it was a medium. So the thing about this hoodie, I got it from the men's section. So it is Boohoo Man. I don't know, I just think they do graphics better for the men than they do for the women. So I went to the men's section and I found this Death Row Records hoodie. And it also has that same logo on the back super big how cool is that like i love that why do y'all give the men all the cool stuff i actually wore it today and i kind of just wore it with some baggy jeans and my nike cortez and i just was laid back today it was nice and cozy and just comfortable and chill so it's not for like a dress up day but it's really good for like lounge wear so i feel like you need a cool hoodie Y'all know I'm like the lint queen. If you've been on my channel before, I'm the lint queen. That's not anything to be proud of, but that's who I am. But now I have this black kind of overcoat. It's got the big collar and lapels, makes you feel a little fancy. It's kind of heavy. That's why I had to bring it back down. Um, okay, um, it has this little button on the side, so it gives you one option to button it. I mean, it actually would be cute buttoned. I probably just won't ever wear a button because it's hot, like I said. Um, this one I got from Uniqlo. It was a Christmas gift from my mom. So it also has the belt that you can tie it up in the front. I don't know if I make things match everything or if things are supposed to match everything. But I feel like you could really dress this up or down. I would literally put this on with sweatpants as well as a dressy outfit to go to church or something. Dang, I took the tag off of it. Alright, hold on, sneak peek. I have this other Uniqlo jacket back here so I'm just going to read off of the tag. 
Um, it's an extra small and it was originally $99. I'm not sure how much she paid for it. But um, yeah, it's a wool blend wrap coat. It was a really good quality coat. It's very heavy. It's very warm. I've worn it already. I wore it for New Year's and I didn't feel a thing. I was very cozy. So love this coat. Next up, I have this little number right here. This is a mango coat, and it's kind of the same style as the last coat I showed you, but instead, it's got this cute little print right here. It's kind of like this herringbone little print. It's also very heavy as well, and it's got the hound's tooth interior. Um, are these pockets on the inside? Let me see. No, no, it's not. All right. But yeah, this is a mango jacket from their suit collection. It was originally like a little over $100, but I got it for like $50, $59. Um, yeah, this one's a really sturdy coat as well, but we know that mango does sturdy very well. So it's got some strong shoulders too, like a little bit of padding, but not like the old school padded shoulders, but just like a little bit to give you a little more structured, put together look. But yeah, this one's really cute. It doesn't come with a tie waist, but I think it has so much going on already with the print that you don't even really need that. I really like this jacket because it's kind of elegant. You can dress it down, but I really wouldn't lean that way. I would really just only wear this on a day where I'm just trying to feel good about myself and I'm dressed up. So yeah, this is a really good quality coat. Highly recommend this one. This jacket right here, it's the same version as what I showed you earlier, but in the gray version, it is a Uniqlo jacket, same size, extra small. So there's not much to say about this one. It, it's the same thing, but a different color palette. So ain't nothing wrong with having a black and a gray one, cause you can do a little bit, uh, you can do everything with a black one, but you can do a little bit different of things with a gray one. I think this one would look really cool like in a monochromatic way. Like if you wanted to do different families of gray with it on, I think that would be super duper cool. So yeah, it's just a different option that you can lean toward. $100 unique flow. All right, there was a reason I pushed this one to the back as I told you earlier. So I like this jacket, but I'm gonna tell you what I don't like about it in a minute. So um, this is another coat from Boohoo. It's like a hoodie and it's kind of got like the teddy look and feel to it. I just love teddy, like it's just so cozy and comfortable. I literally walked around the house in this and just like laid in my bed and like had it zipped up cause it feels like a blanket. But um, it's got the little black drawstrings to it and it is a size small. I don't think it was very expensive at all y'all. I think it was like $15, but I wouldn't say it feels like $15 because it is like a nice thick quality, but I'm gonna tell you why it may be $15. <laughs> the jacket's really cozy. It's kind of just for a chill day, but um, yeah, it has pockets. But here's the one thing I do not like about this coat. When I put it on, it puts those little bobbles on me and all that thick lint, like brown lint, tan lint, green lint all over me. And I don't really like that. So. I don't know how you can fix that problem. I don't know if it can be fixed. It's not like a crazy amount. You'll be fine if you just keep it on. Just don't take it off because you're going to have lint on you. So yeah, there's that one from Boohoo. All right, last and definitely not least, I'm probably most excited about this one. Um, I have a long, long teddy coat. It's like a teddy trench coat. Look, we can already see the lint flying away from it. <laughs> All right, so this one is also from Boohoo. It is a really thick, like I would say, same case as the last one. Like it's a good quality as in heavy. It's just, it's going to also get lint on you. Just don't look, look at it. It's like this brown kind of chocolate color, but not quite chocolate, maybe like a milk chocolate. I don't know, light skin milk chocolate. Let's go with that. I got it in a size small because look at it. It's, it's huge. I don't really need anything bigger than that. Um, they have a lot of the ones with the belts, but personally, I don't like the ones with the belts because I feel like it gets a little bathrobe-y, and I don't want to look like I'm walking around in a bathrobe. I would especially recommend trying the Boohoo one if you live somewhere like me and it's hot and you don't want to spend a lot of money on something you're not going to wear all the time. So I thought it was a good 
thing for me to get. All right, so it's got like these little, it's kind of like a two-tone button in the middle. It's like a black and brown two-tone button. And then they've got like the thick collar. I like that it sits up on you. I feel like it makes it look a little more expensive. And yeah, so there's not much to this one. It's just like a brown teddy trench coat. Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope y'all enjoyed the pieces that I showed y'all today. Um, I hope you got some inspo if you're looking for some winter coats or anything like that. Um, for my people that are always on my channel for my thrifting pieces, just stay tuned y'all. I got something good coming for y'all. So if you haven't subscribed to me yet, you're definitely going to want to because I definitely have a couple things for thrifting coming at y'all soon. But thank you for watching. Um, if you like this video, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. We gotta go. We gotta go see. We gotta see R. Kelly cut up on Lifetime. It's Lifetime, right? Yeah. So we gotta go catch the, uh, the Lifetime R. Kelly episode because we're trying to see what's up. What's the tea with R. Kelly? What y'all think? What do y'all think the tea with R. Kelly is? Are you team R. Kelly didn't do it? Are you team R. Kelly did that? And there's nothing else to say about it. So yeah, go ahead and subscribe if you're not subscribed to me already. And I will see y'all next time on my channel. Bye.